really enjoyed the pleasure of being robbed, particularly for its quirkiness. The film is about a slacker, E. Lenore, who spends her days graciously meandering around New York City, stealing from people. Ultimately, she's a kleptomaniac, but not your typical thrill seeker or money driven thief. Her stealing is more intriguing, almost charming, because of its childlike and inquisitive nature. Feels nothing more into this character. However, it occasionally hints that she may have a deeper, more complex problem. Despite that, you do sympathize with Eleanor. Her feelings get hurt, and you do just want to give her a hug because she is essentially a child. You are the worst play I've ever had the displeasure of having to play. <sighs> Gee, Wayne. That's the truth. It's a tough game. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I just wanted to have a little fun, you know? Look, at least get a decent backhand. Mm -hmm. you got this weird backhand hacker-whacker thing, and it annoys people when it doesn't hit the table. Right now, you got this kind of lifting, lobbing thing. And what you have to do is withdraw your wrist into here, and uh -huh. when you hit backhand, you uh -huh. hit... <laughs> Go away. Go away. Overall, the energy and tone of the film is much like that of Chaplin films, minus the stunts. One might say that the film lacks a sense of believability. But I think that's what makes it great. I took the polar bear scene to be an exaggerated example of those moments in life when something absolutely ridiculous happens and you're just like, okay, hold on, did that actually just happen? Because I know that happens to me all the time and they're great, that's what makes life. For the q and I thought Josh was extremely genuine. I admired his honesty when he told us that he still feels awkward about this film because of his real life relationship. I feel like most directors would have lied or made up something just to give us an answer that seemed right. But I really like that Josh didn't do that.